well hello and welcome to this uh, new video in today's video we are going to see how to connect to a remote Oracle database using SQL developer so here I have two virtual machines this one is CentOS uh, 7 which has the Oracle uh, software installed on it and this one <coughs> is a uh, Windows uh, virtual machine Windows Server uh, 2016 virtual machine so I'm going to try to connect to this uh, database here on Linux using SQL developer from this Windows machine okay so first let me go back to this uh, Linux machine and uh, open a new terminal And if I go to uh, SQL Developer and try to uh, connect to this database, well, this is the database we are going to try to connect to remotely, ORCL, the one that I have uh, created in the previous uh, video, if you have watched it, and we have put sample uh, schemas on it. So I am unable to connect to this machine because simply the listener is not started and the database is not uh, started as well so let me just do that so I'm going to start the listener and then I'm going to connect to the database as sysdba sorry that's sysdba and then do a startup of the database so now that the database is started up if I go back to SQL developer and try to connect again still not working if I try again now mm, yeah it's working now okay so uh, we are able to connect to this uh, database on the server itself now if I go back to my uh, Windows machine so in order to be able to connect to the uh, remote uh, database uh, on the Linux uh, machine we need first to add an entry for this database in our uh, local TNS uh, names file so let's do that so if I open my file explorer and then go to uh, app oracle product 1220 db home one so this is my uh, oracle home and then go to network and then admin so this is the TNS uh, names file so if I open my TNS names file here and add an entry uh, for the remote uh, Oracle database so you need to specify the uh, host name or IP address of the remote uh, server so for me it's uh, this address and you need to specify the port so the port is 1521 the default one and you need to specify the SID name so I'm going to use here the SID uh, ORCL okay so this is my uh, service identifier so now save this file close it go back to uh, SQL developer create a new connection let's call it ORCL remote let's use the uh, sys username with the password that we have created in the previous video and since this is the sys video we need to connect as sysdba let's put here the IP address of the server and let's put the SID, the SID ORCL okay 
and now if we test the connection we are successfully uh, we are able to connect uh, to the remote database now we can save this <coughs> and connect so let's check that we are really on this remote database so so if I open the connection go to other users as you can see I can find my BI uh, HR IX users that I have on my remote uh, Linux database so same thing here if I go to ORCL and then other users and then HR so it's it's the same thing it's the same database okay if you don't want to put uh, IP address here in the uh, connection in the host name you, you can define this uh, IP address in the hosts file uh, of uh, your Windows machine so you add an entry in the hosts file with this IP address and the host name of the remote server and then instead of putting the IP address here you put the uh, Linux host name okay another way to check that your connection is working fine uh, to the remote uh, Oracle database is using the command line so if you do TNS ping the name of the, your TNS entry which is for us ORCL you see that it's pinging fine to the remote server okay otherwise you would have errors doing this ping so this is it that's what I wanted to show you in today's video that's how you connect to a remote Oracle database using SQL developer thank you for watching